A day at the races for a group of kids today was a lesson in motor racing, but also in diabetes management. Our health reporter Pauline Chan was trackside today. It was a day to learn about cars. We're going to have around 90 to 100 kids all throughout the weekend. Um, we're actually supporting uh, the charity. And racing. And the latest in technology for diabetes management. So what I do is I put this on and I decide how much insulin I'm going to give. Chris Jarvis made his name as an Olympic rower, but as a person living with type 1 diabetes, he's dedicated to helping others, especially children, manage diabetes and live the best life possible. We're getting to showcase the first needle-free injection for people with diabetes. The InstaJet injector uses a spring-like mechanism to rapidly send insulin through the skin. There is no pain from a needle. It reduces the risk of infection or contamination, and it's highly portable. 12-year-old Jake currently uses an insulin pump. I think it's amazing. The main problem with children and their insulin pens is that they're really scared of the needles and they don't want it to go in them. I think like it'll make kids less scared because it's just a little thing, you can't see any needle. So when they put it on, it won't hurt. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease which requires 24-7 management, but that doesn't mean people who have diabetes can't live full and active lives. Every time I was at the track, I had my dad, my mom, my sister that were all around me, and everybody had a juice box ready. Uh, my dad was always checking my blood sugars. Former race car driver Chase Pelletier talked to the kids about the importance of monitoring those levels, especially as the exertion of racing can cause sugars to drop quickly. Also, if I had a high blood sugar, I just wouldn't be performing at my best as well, so I had to have really good tight tolerances. He didn't have the InstaJet when he was racing, but he says it could be a game changer for children and adults living with diabetes. Pauline Chan, CTV News.